and welcome to our fourth Bexel Manager webinar. My name is Mila Tepejovic. I'm an architect and senior BIM manager at Bexel Consulting. The same as the uh, day before, I will introduce you to our workflows for planning, creating 5D BIM simulations and schedules using our integrated Bexel Manager platform for intelligent BIM management. A quick reminder for all of you first time with us. All previous webinars from last week and from yesterday are recorded and already uploaded online, so you can find these videos on our YouTube channel. Here you can also find recordings of all our previous webinars, uh, tutorials also and uh, presentations. And on our webpage, bexelmanager.com, you can find all news and tons of useful information, uh, support materials, workflows, manuals, and add-ins. You have a support section, which uh, I recommend to frequently visit. Uh, here you can also request a free trial version of Bexel Manager with all range of features for evaluation purposes. Students and professors can apply for one year educational trial license, uh, which also contains all features. Upon the activation, uh, all users, even with their trial licenses or educational licenses, can log in to our user area using the provided credentials and explore our latest materials, which we frequently uploading on our user area. So um, materials in user area are grouped in sections. Manuals contain manuals uh, in a different languages, step-by-step -step guides, handbooks, and additional support material for learning Bexel Manager. Tutorials is for recorded Bexel Manager tutorials, which you can also find on our YouTube channel. Add-ins and API scripts are great places where you can find and download a free great uh, number of very useful Bexel Manager add-ins and scripts, uh, which can be a applied on any project. Demo sample projects uh, contains variety of Bexel Manager sample projects made in a different authoring tools and presenting different types of construction projects, infrastructure, office buildings, high-rise buildings and similar. Webinar materials is the place where we upload materials and Bexel Manager projects presented on our online webinars. So material from last week webinar is already uploaded and you can also expect material from this week to be uploaded too. Databases contains collection of different cost classification structures, again in a different languages and according to different standards, ready to be imported in Bexel Manager. Today's webinar is being streamed live on YouTube and LinkedIn. And I also want to remind you that you can type in your questions during my presentation and my colleagues will try to respond to your uh, questions in comments section. Uh, after the presentation, I will try to save a few minutes more to answer to your questions. Before we start, with today's topic, I want to invite all of you to register to our next webinar scheduled for 22nd of June, that's uh, next Tuesday. And this event is organized by Building Smart International, where our CEO Veljko Janic will talk about innovations and challenges in Open Beam project management. The link for a registration will be uh, in description of in this webinar. So today uh, I will talk about intelligent planning and scheduling in Bexel Manager. I'll explain how to make a feasible construction schedule using our advanced scheduling engine and how to use information already contained in the model for that. All the information we produced during yesterday's webinar regarding cost structure and cost estimation 
and also information uh, created in a previous webinars regarding uh, smart selection sets grouping smart grouping of elements will also be used uh, in the processes today i will try to explain what are zones and methodologies in our platform and what is the easiest workflow to generate uh, beam schedules then uh, when schedule is generated I'll briefly introduce you to editing options and 5D reports and exports. As mentioned before, we truly believe that using already available BIM information is one of the greatest benefits of our platform and uh, one of the greatest benefits of using BIM generally. So at the end of uh, this, I will de demonstrate how to use uh, that created data for planning and making information that can be reused and applied to different projects, making your uh, workflows and uh, everyday work more efficient and, of course, saving your time and resources. Uh, after completing process of quantification and cost estimation presented in our previous webinar, we can move forward with the uh, 4D features which includes scheduling and planning, construction simulation, schedule optimization, look ahead plans and reports, and, and many more useful features. So Bexel Manager has very advanced and intelligent BIM-based scheduling engine, which can be used to uh, generate thousands of tasks, including relations and dependencies between them. And the greatest thing is that everything is instantly related to BIM elements since all the tasks are actually created based on uh, model elements. So I'll try to explain the process on a few slides. Construction schedules usually have two main levels of organization. One is spatial organization and the second one is work sequencing. And this works for almost all construction projects. For infrastructure projects or industrial or technical facilities, this organization could be slightly different. So in order to automate the planning process, our engine is based on zones and methodology. In zone editor, you can specify spatial organization of works and their relations. And in methodology editor, you can set work sequencing logic. Usually, at least for common buildings, levels and phases are specified within the zone editor. And then the system intelligently combines zones and methodology items based on predefined rules and identified elements in BIM project, engine spreads down methodology work items through all zones. It means that the software will create as much as tasks as we have uh, methodology items and multiply it by number of zones and levels in which these items are recognized. In case that your model doesn't have all methodology items in all zones, the system will smartly find only existing work items in that zone and then relink them with the next methodology item in that zone, just by reading available information from BIM project. So for making methodology items, it was very important to explain and understand how to create a cost breakdown structure, which we did yesterday. So let's go to the Bexel Manager. I will use the same project presented yesterday, two sample buildings, and I believe the easiest way to explain how our engine works is to demonstrate it on a small part of construction works. Since we're limited with the time, I'll explain the process on structural elements, and then I will just apply the same logic which I already prepared for all construction works. Yesterday we made a few cost classification which will be used for planning purposes today. This one is BIM-based cost structure and imported uniformat-based classification. Also we made a few cost versions for both of these classifications, as you may see. And if you want to use Bexel Manager as a BIM scheduling platform, you need to at least have a cost structure. Your cost structure doesn't have to contain prices, but if it does, then you can have a full 5D construction simulation containing all information for your works, including cash flow and resources and so on. Here you can see our uh, sample Bexel Manager project, which comes with the Bexel Manager installation. And it has all schedule reports, including cash flow and resource allocation, because 
cost items for this sample project have resources and prices. Again, you don't have to define resources to create schedule, but in this case reports will be without uh, all these results which can be achieved if you have all uh, information in your cost items. So to make a sample methodology and create construction work sequencing, I will open methodology editor and create a sequence logic. New methodology, name it uh, beam based simple and I will create new methodology items linked to cost structure. I will just select a few items from the structural part of BIM based cost structure and for this exercise I will just select structural items from BIM based classification. Create single methodology item is checked only if you want to make just one methodology item from all selected cost items. In this case I don't want to do that, I just want each item as a separate and by adding relations between these items we are creating work sequences. So these are our works and we are creating sequences of these works by adding relations. Relations can be changed and for each relation you can set different type. The color of relation is changed as you change their type. It's a good visual indicator and scheduling engine then will mix these methodology items with zones and create our schedule. All created tasks will have the same sequence, relations and lags defined in methodology and zone editor. So to understand the zones, I will create new zones in zone editor. I will name it levels and now zone items will be linked to our building stories. The system will use these items to spread down our construction works defined in methodology. I will select them using shift or space on, on a keyboard for multi-selection and create relation will be checked because system is smart enough to automatically recognize elevation of these levels and then creates these uh, relations instantly. So important thing before we generate our schedule is to check if all elements are properly assigned to anything that we use as a reference to zones. In this case our zones are levels so I want to make sure that all elements are correctly assigned to proper levels because the system will use that information for creating scheduled tasks through, through building levels. I'm just changing visibility of different building stories one by one so we can identify if some elements are assigned to wrong levels. We see some MEP elements and I know that the common problem in authoring tool is that usually curtain walls and panels are not properly assigned to uh, specific levels so I will select all these elements which I found that are not properly assigned to respective levels and good thing is that our system already have tool which can help you to reassign the selected elements to proper levels. I will select auto distribute elements and again when process is completed we can visually confirm that everything is okay and even with uh, such a low level of providing information we can still create a draft schedule. You see now that everything looks fine, all elements to be visible. In schedule editor select new schedule, we will name it and then select cost version. It's important which cost version we are selecting because it has to be the same one referred in methodology. Our simple methodology is based on BIM cost structure so I will have to link it to that one. I just need to go back to cost versions to rename them and make sure that I'm selecting good one in, in schedule editor. Okay, so this one is BIM based cost version, BIM based and this one is uniformat based also with prices. So I will go back to schedule editor and select proper cost version here. Been based with prices. 
in schedule settings we can set uh, a lot of different options and one of them is setting the start date for new schedule and we can set default duration for all activities by default it's 40 working hours which is standard working week so the pace of all activities will be the same in initial schedule more advanced uh, scheduling options for animation you can find here and using scale to fit or scroll mouse button you're zooming and exploring in the gun chart so now I will use creation wizard for intelligent scheduling here we are setting schedule hierarchy using in this case methodology items as the first hierarchy level and then the next level of hierarchy will be select zones uh, items of levels once we do that we could save creation template so we can use it next time this template will be one uh, beam based levels and hit ok so initial schedule is generated all tasks have names from methodology and zone items they have same relations from methodology and zone items and default duration which is 40 working hours for each task and we can preview our simulation updated and activate schedule view which is dedicated view for 5D and 4D simulations you also see a legend and set additional settings for a legend here more info of these settings you can find in our manuals schedule view can also be used as a normal 3D view uh, to explore and orbit around our project in this simulation we can see the structural works are being executed exactly as we set relations in methodology editor execute foundations then beams then slabs and then walls and columns and that's not exactly what we wanted we want these relations to be transferred through all levels so to correct this I will go back to schedule methodology editor and I will select all relations here and check options copy to children it means that these relations will be copied through zone items and since in this case levels are zone items the work sequence you see here will be executed on one level and then on the next level and so on I will save this and now we can create new schedule this one will be simple structure 2 select beam based with prices okay okay and again I will select creation wizard and load saved template select beam based levels template and hit ok so our created schedule now looks like this and you may already see more relations between tasks and in a different levels and just uh, a quick view of line of balance but I will explain this a little bit later pop in and go to see uh, our simulation update and here we can set more animation options so I will make this animation faster and more detailed so elements will be shown in hourly interval so this one looks better but still some elements of the next levels are executed before elements on the previous levels you see that for the columns and walls so I will go back in methodology editor once more and introduce you constructive relations we noted that beams on the upper levels are being executed before walls and columns in the same one so this new relation in this case prevents execution of beams and slabs of the upper levels to be executed before columns and walls are completed this relation is constructive with offset of one level 
and to make our constructive relation active we'll go back to zone editor and enable zone levels as constructive items I will save it and then we can create new schedule again this one is simple structure 3 using beam based cost classification and I will again use creation wizard load template beam based hit ok this is the schedule and when we update schedule simulation now when we play it everything now looks almost as we wanted except maybe staircases all other works looks fine now we can go back to methodology editor once more and change staircase relation to constructive and in this case with negative offset so the slabs of the upper level will be executed before staircases that's a small trick and another way how we can use constructive relations and now I want to apply this methodology for both buildings because this project has uh, two buildings for that I will go back to zone editor and you remember when we made zone items for levels I just selected levels for one building and now each level item is linked only to level of one building we can add a reference to levels of both buildings here or I can show you another trick which is useful when we, when we have uh, multiple buildings in one project so I will create new items for levels but instead of default system stories I will use selection sets instead I created custom breakdown based on property story name and then I convert this to smart selection set so we can use smart selection sets for levels to make uh, them faster for multiple buildings you see the reference is to selection sets and then we can delete original ones okay yes and we can save this fine if we want to make this schedule even more detailed we could add new hierarchy level and make all works to be executed by building phases these phases are also specified in our smart selection sets phases 1, 2 and 3 and exterior areas and all elements in phase 1 elements in phase 3 and these smart selection sets are made from elements property which is added to all elements construction sequence property is notable here you can see that query used in smart selection set in zone editor I will now create a new zone for spatial distribution of these elements based on phases new items linked and then select phases and I can also check create relations even though uh, we can manually change these uh, relations later save and close so now we can create our new schedule using beam based with prices cost classification and you see how easy it is to generate so many variants of uh, the schedules using our engine and I will use creation wizard and load template but since we created new zone I will have to add new zone for phases now I will select zone items and choose phases this will be my lowest level of uh, schedule hierarchy and I will save this as a new template beam based levels and phases once we hit OK the initial schedule is created I will turn on visibility for all elements in our view and go to schedule view we can pop out schedule window to full screen and now it's much easier to explore it and review all tasks main tasks are the same as methodology items and leaf tasks are from zone items uh, from levels and zones in total 72 tasks are generated we can add new columns with information here 
a list of all available task properties and I will select total cost for example since our schedule in this case is linked to cost version we can see the price of these structural works according to BIM based cost version. Line of balance is more detailed since we have more zones in schedule but it's still simple because it's just for structural works. Now let's see a new animation play. So you see the elements from both buildings and they're all executed in phases and this one looks pretty accurate and feasible even though I'm not a planner. And the last thing I want to do with this sample schedule of structural works is to divide this into schedules for two buildings because currently all works are e executed simultaneously for both buildings. So I will go to zone editor and create new zone for buildings. This one will be linked to our buildings and we can make relations. If we want to even specify that one building is executed before the second one, we could leave this relation, but I will set the lag for duration percentage and I will set the second one starts when the first one is 30% completed. Save it, close. And now we can create a new schedule. Provide a name and link it to our BIM based cost version. And we can use Creation Wizard again, load template. OK. And this is the template, but I will show you another way where you can create your creation templates using creation template tool we can duplicate the existing creation template and then edit this one here we will change zone items and add additional level of hierarchy for buildings i will set buildings to be the first level of hierarchy and hit ok so this new creation template is saved and we can use it using our creation wizard now hit ok and now the system creates new schedule and now you see instantly created schedule for two buildings with all works from methodology executed through all levels and phases all relations are according to relations defined in zone and methodology editor and in just a few minutes we made more than 200 tasks which are linked to B model and to be more precise which are made from B model Line of balance now showing tasks from two buildings. And we can close this window in order to preview animation. Uh, update it and play. We can even load the animation from prepared camera and now the animation looks even more interesting you see all the activities for construction works of structural part of the building so now when you understand at least basic principles of our scheduling engine and how to create zones and methodologies and what is their purpose we can use some more detailed methodologies which i already prepared for this project and i will load this using the exchange import option and select prepared methodologies because we don't have enough time. This is the uh, same exchange process we would use for exchanging methodologies and zone between different projects. Now I will show you these loaded methodologies. Uh, first Qt or BIM based methodology. It's uh, made uh, from BIM based cost structure and we made all relations between all types of works and we can use it on projects containing the same cost structure. And that's why this methodology is maybe more project specific. But anyway, 
the most important thing is uh, that all references between cost structure and methodology items are recognized and now we can close this and use this methodology to create entire schedule for all types of works for these buildings the name will be advanced beam based and the cost version is also beam based with price and I will use creation wizard again to load the last template that we saved but I will change methodology and use imported beam based for all works and that's it hit OK and when the schedule is created we can pop it out and see all tasks all the relations are there all the scheduled tasks are created entire cost is created and we can add additional columns for example for duration in days I will check a line of balance for this schedule and for initially and instantly created schedule this one doesn't look bad and let's see the simulation update and play first foundations and ground slabs and then columns as we wanted so you can see that all works for both buildings are being executed and for default schedule created that fast without any additional optimizations it looks relatively fine so you can see that practically without much information from B model, we could still make a useful estimation and uh, 5d beam simulations but let's go back to our methodology editor to see the second example that I've imported this one is based on uniformat cost classification and we could say that this one is more general and can be used on projects containing uniformat cost structure we made this one even more detailed since we added second level of hierarchy within existing methodology items for each type of works we defined more work items in case we want to create more detailed schedule for example structural works have defined works for form work reinforcement and concrete pouring and finishing so when we have this kind of worked out and detailed methodology if we generate a schedule the schedule will uh, have even greater number of tasks created uh, automatically so let's create a schedule for this one I will name it uniformat based and select uniformat based cost estimation again we use creation wizard loading template and I will again just change the reference for this methodology and use uniformat based methodology which we imported if we select methodology levels instead of methodology items and select second level we could create more detailed schedule using second level of methodology items and make tasks for form work reinforcement and so on I won't do it right now I will just create initial schedule and when the process is done we can see in Targan chart all tasks for both buildings are created to uh, according to uniformat structure we also see entire cost here total cost but gun chart is just one way to preview your schedule we could go to logic view which is very similar to view in methodology editor where you can see relations between main, wor main work items and line of balance view is very important for location based planning here you can analyze tasks through levels and zones and make adjustments one of the greatest benefits since entire schedule is generated using BIM is that everything is connected and in a way interactive we can find selected tasks in gun chart we can use advanced filter to find specific tasks for example tasks on a critical path we can then select elements in the model linked to selected tasks from gun chart 
using select elements and we can isolate these selected elements in our 3D view or select elements in model view and find tasks with these elements in gun chart or by selecting uh, its parent tasks we could find this work item in used methodology that's the one close and uh, no i don't want to save these changes i'll reset the filter so we can see entire schedule again As mentioned in our previous webinars, you have great numbers of additional options and settings for each task. All common options for durations, relations, cost, quantities, uh, resources for each task, properties, link documents and settings for animation. But since we're limited with time, I suggest to find some of our previous webinars on, on this topic on our YouTube channel. Let's quickly check task report for this schedule. Here you can see cost and cash flow, cumulative cost and information about activities and resources if your cost items uh, are made using resources. So we still didn't see a 5D simulation for this one. So let's do it now. Update. And preview animation. This schedule made using uniformat based classification looks pretty decent even without any adjustments. You also see the cash flow in the legend and percentage of completeness based on total cost. So now when we have the entire methodologies, zones and creation templates, we could exchange these information similarly as we did that yesterday to different projects. I will go to Exchange, Export and Select Methodologies, Zones and Creation Templates. And I will select all methodologies, zones and creation templates. And we will save this as Exchange Methodologies and Zones. A small reminder for all of you is that you could export the entire Bexel Manager project, including created schedule information, into IFC file using export to IFC. Unfortunately, there's still no other platform on the market which could play this schedule except Bexel Manager currently. Now I will use this different larger project again. It contains one high-rise building and two smaller ones. Is the same project from yesterday and it doesn't have any methodology as you may see. So I will use the same exchange process to import methodologies, zones and creation templates from that small project of two buildings. I will open it, select methodology, zones and creation template and hit OK. When Bexel imports all data, we can check if everything is correct in order to generate 5D simulation for this project. You see that all three methodologies are loaded, the simple, BIM-based and uniformat-based. We can see if zones are loaded OK. Zone for buildings, zone for levels and zone for phases. Looks fine. But first we want to check if elements are assigned to proper levels, as we did for a smaller project. The easiest way is visual inspection of levels. Hide everything and then check each level. OK. OK, uh, it's the same issue as we had in a previous project. I will select all curtain panels and all curtain mullions and I will use again our tool to auto distri distribute elements to proper levels. Go to manage auto distribute elements and yes. So when distribution is finished and this could take some time depending on number of the elements. Yeah. 
we can just quickly go to spatial structure again to check if everything looks fine now. These are all visual inspections that can be easily done using Building Explore Explorer. So now we can proceed even though we use same cost structure and imported same methodology this is a different project so we need to make sure that the zones are also properly linked to all beam elements. So that's why I will go to zone editor and I will check phases. For the phases everything looks fine because all phases are related to smart selection sets and all smart selection sets are created using that property from the elements. So this one is fine. We go to levels and for the levels we see only five levels because small buildings had only five levels and in this case they are not related to anything because this project doesn't have smart selection sets for levels. So I will use add-in and import selection set which my colleague Alexander showed you last week and I will load smart selection sets from Excel file. Hit open and we will have all smart selection sets instantly created for different levels for this large project. All queries are made according to property building story name and you can see everything works. Now I can go back to zone editor and change zone items for levels. I will delete old items without references and I will create new one linked to smart selection sets. I will select all and use option create relations and hit OK. The only thing now left is a zone for buildings. Even though we used same modeling, naming and coding standards for this project, it's still different, at last in their physical aspect. So zones has to be always checked. This project also has more buildings and we need to add these new buildings to our zones if we want to see uh, all these items in our sch schedule. So these two items are linked to building 1 and 2 and I will add link to tower building and building site. And I can also make additional relations or logs or sequences for these buildings. I will add a duration percentage of 40% for example. And this is just for a presentation purposes. Now when everything is checked, we can create new schedule. I will go to schedule editor and create new schedule, uniformat based, link it to uniformat based cost version, hit OK and wait for a few seconds. And we can use creation wizard again and load imported template. Since I forgot to save a template with uniformat based methodology, I will load beam based and then I will also change reference of this methodology to uniformat based methodology and hit OK. Again, it can take some time, but once completed, we will have entire schedule and this project is quite large. It contains more buildings, but it's fine now. So it's quite comprehensive schedule created instantly and containing more than 4000 tasks. It's generated as I've said in a matter of minutes and everything is related to beam elements and cost estimation. I believe it's really impressive. We can see additional columns in Gantt view if needed. I added one for successors and one for predecessors. we can check line of balance and this line of balance is for all different buildings of this project. We can go back to our schedule animation 
in order to see a construction simulation. I will update this. and plate. At the same time uh, we see a cache flow in our legend and of course it's just initial schedule but the hardest part of the job is done. We have all tasks and relation and now planners can tweak and adjust each task according to available resources or according to availability of subcontractors and similar. Everything is linked with model elements, all resources and quantities are calculated and any change we made in our schedule will be instantly visible. We could go back to schedule editor and review line of balance or gun chart. We can explore and edit entire schedule or edit tasks. We could go back to schedule and review each task, analyze it in, in more detail, uh, analyze quantities and activities in each task. We could do we could do resource allocation and using our leveling tool automatically recalculate the duration based on available resources. We can select and level all resources or only ones affected by selected tasks and then choose from the list of resources. For each task we can check task reports and review cost, cash flow, resources needed if your cost items containing resources. But since we're limited with time, instead of editing tasks and adjusting uh, resources and uh, durations of these tasks, I will show you another interesting feature of Bexel Manager, and that's how to add non-model related tasks to our schedule. First way to do it is manual, and I will just add blank tasks, for example, tower cranes, which don't exist in our model, and for each task we can manually override duration and add relation with other tasks. So I will add some predecessors for this task and in this case I will relate it to some other tasks of base level concrete works and make them start start relation. You can see that task is shifted in our Gantt chart and duration is also changed. Now we can add price to this task. The best way is to add new activity, create new and name it Tower Crane for example. And once we have new activity we can set its price and calculation method. If I set cost unit cost and for quantity select time, the price will be time dependent and the price could be also fixed, but this could be more accurate for some activities. For mapping, I will set working days and unit price, for example, $1000. So you instantly see that the price is updated in our Gantt chart and if we change task duration, the price will be also updated instantly. So this was manual way. Automated ways to create tasks which are not based on model is to relate them with non-BIM based cost items. First we need to have uh, these cost items in our cost classification. For example, these items for administrative requirements. And if we have these items, we can also create methodology for these non-BIM cost items. So I will call this methodology for non-BIM works hit OK and create new item. And now we can link these cost items to methodology items. I will select all these items from Z folder, hit OK and we have to make some relations. These are not accurate relations but just for demo purposes I believe it's good enough. So now in the schedule editor we can create new tasks which are linked and link it to cost items. In my case from uniformat structure because these items are related to uniformat cost classification in Z folder and I will select that folder here and hit OK. When the process is completed we have a placeholder for these new tasks. 
and I have to check it to reference cost items without model elements. In order to refresh these references to cost items, we have to update entire schedule. And you'll see the information that some link rules will be updated and when the process is completed, you can see that the price for this task is updated, which means that links are created and the price is the same as in the cost version, which is related to Uniformat. So now we can use Creation Wizard and in the same way as we created schedule for BIM-based tasks, we can select that new methodology for non-BIM works. That's methodology for non-BIM works. Hit OK. And here it's very important to check to create child tasks from cost items without model elements. For these works which we don't uh, exist in 3D model, assigning zones wouldn't have any point since system couldn't identify spatial distribution without real 3D elements. As you may see, new tasks are created for works which uh, are not related to B model, and we have cost and relations. And of course, we can edit these tasks as we did for tower cranes, we can add new activities to each of these tasks in order to add additional expenses if needed and we can choose cost and quantity and I will also make it time dependent on a daily basis again and specify some additional expenses. Thousand dollars and working days and the total cost is updated again. All created information including cost version and schedules can be exported into Power BI. I will show you a sample of the same project exported earlier because export could take some time. And these reports are very practical since everything is interactive and you can easily filter specific works, tasks, uh, cost uh, and similar. Since this one only is containing initial baseline schedule, you can see 5D or cost information and information which can be filtered for each building or for each level. For this project we exported schedule data as well and here you can see very simple Gantt chart and all tasks. Great example of Power BI report is our sample project, which has progress data input. In that case, you'll be able to export more information into Power BI and you can make earned value analysis, track your real expenses and compare it with contracted prices. You can make planned versus actual comparisons and access to great number of, for example, key performance indexes and analysis for various KPIs. Again, this one is just an example and you can make your own customized and more comprehensive templates. The most important thing is that Bexel gives you all raw data and export everything that you created within the Bexel manager so you can organize all the information according to your needs. Another interesting schedule option is that you can add additional properties to created tasks. And this is useful if you want to organize your tasks or activities by any property. Very often this can be used to assign specific tasks to subcontractors or contractors. So I will select all leaf tasks for several structural works and using task editor and properties I will create new text property called subcontractor. And when we populate value, everything is updated. In the same way, uh, I can add different values for different tasks in schedule. And by doing that, we assigning these tasks to different subcontractors. 
I will repeat this process for some random tasks. I will populate uh, values for different subcontractors, for example, company 2, and again for, let's say, building site, select all building site tasks and in task editor assign it to subcontractor company for example company 3 hit ok and close this window and now we can add a new column for subcontractors here and find tasks by subcontractors once you have cost and schedule information in a project you can again use our API console and execute more different scripts which can give you additional information which are really really useful. We added properties for subcontractors so we can use script which creates selection sets of look ahead plans of all works organized by subcontractors and when we set period for look ahead and execute the script based on number of model elements and complexity of schedule this can take some time and once the process is finished we can search and isolate different works on a different buildings for a different subcontractors so these are selection sets automatically created using this script and it organizes all tasks from the schedule and all activities within these tasks based on different subcontractors. You see that we have folder which contains all works for a company one. Now we can quickly isolate only selected work groups from certain subcontractor in certain period and from this you may create BCF files and send them to on-site teams so they can input progress for respective works. You can create BCF issues for each folder or for, for subfolders of selection sets. I will show you another interesting script and this one creates look-ahead plans without grouping by subcontractor. It's called interval tasks and activity schedule. You can uh, again just type in the period for look ahead plan in this case one month is just enough and execute this and the process is started and keep in mind that this model is relatively large containing three high-rise buildings so it can take some time and once it's finished it creates selection sets for tasks and activities using schedule structure so using scripts and add-ins gives so much power to our users. They can create a huge arsenal of different tools which they can use to analyze the project from different aspects. When selection sets are made, you can search your works and elements related to them. You can isolate selected ones, inspect activities and send selection sets to on-site teams, responsible for these work groups. I believe that we have a few minutes more just so I could show you a process of updating project. I will save this project and I will show you the process of updating the same project with the, let's say a new design for the tower building. So we have to go to our project and versions and find our saved project in the folder substructure and when we find it I will use option update with open I will provide new name for this updated project and choose three new files for updated design of architecture structure and MEP for the tower hit OK and this option update with open means that we will update the project and open it afterwise. So in this window for matching sources, I will match new design for tower building with all design for the tower for all three sources, architecture, MEP and structure. And since we want to compare cost, I will select option to keep 
elements and add two selection sets. So this option means that uh, we would like to keep all elements from both design. I'm saving elements from both design option in case that uh, this is for example early stage of design development and our investor decided to try a different design options to see the impact of new design on cost and schedule. And when we keep both sources in one project, we practically have both buildings saved. We can compare the, their design and then also compare their cost and schedules for both versions. We practically now increasing the size of Bexel Manager file and this process could take some time because of that. So instead of waiting, I will just open the same already updated project and this is the result. In a 3D view we can see new building design and saved old tower design. The height of new design is actually a little bit smaller, but the shape is more complex. So using auto create updated selection sets, we can select new design only, turn on visibility just for this, and you can see how the new design look like. First thing we want to do is to calculate price for new design and to do that the easiest way is to select only new design and add this to auto assign. I will go to our cost editor and before performing auto assign I will go to our uh, building explorer window which can help me to only isolate the elements that I want to select. I will turn on visibility only for office buildings, building site and uh, I will turn also visibility on for selection set of added elements which is only new tower using selection sets these auto created edit selection set and then I will just select all visible elements in this case I will select option auto assign to new cost version selected elements and hit OK. We have to wait just a few seconds until the process is completed. OK, everything is done. So when the process is over we can go to assigned items and see the price for this new design. Assigned items expand all and you see updated total cost for all cost items for entire new design and we can compare it with all previous design this is uniform at based which is a little bit higher higher price because the uh, tower building was a little bit higher for that second option we can also go to schedule editor and we can create new updated schedule. One way is to duplicate existing schedule, link it with the cost version for new design and update it. This is workflow in case that your baseline schedule is already optimized and you don't want to uh, lose some of the information, you want to keep all this information. In case that original schedule is not optimized then in that case we could just create new schedule using previously explained method using creation wizard and creation templates. So when this process of updating is completed we will hit update in this window, wait a little bit more and hit ok. So when entire process is updated you see entire schedule task relations and duration are preserved everything is as we planned and we can even go to schedule view and see our new schedule animation updated and play simulation again includes cost so you see cash flow and I will just turn a little bit camera to see new tower design
and you may see that uh, since I forgot to check if all elements of new design are properly assigned to 3D levels, uh, curtain panels have some issues. So we had to do auto assign or we had to do auto distribute elements before updating the schedule. I forgot to do that, S but simulation doesn't look so bad anyway. We could also go to task reports and make some task reports, analytics, see the charts for cash flow, for labor, for each month. Everything is updated instantly. We could also export all these information into Power BI or to Excel spreadsheets and that's it. So for the very end, I would like to announce that very soon we will release new add-in which enables integration of Bexel Manager and Unreal Engine. Enabling this integration very soon, you'll be able to export 5D schedules and simulation made in Bexel Manager and visualize these same construction simulation in Unreal environment using photorealistic uh, lightning materials, uh, environments and so on. Okay, so that was everything for today. Uh, thanks for your questions. I see my colleagues are very busy responding to everyone today. Again, it took a little bit longer for me because I really wanted to show you all the different options and workflows to create feasible construction schedules and 5D simulation of your projects using Bexel Manager. Let's see if you have some interesting questions. Uh, can you define subcontractors to schedule tasks? Uh, I believe that uh, during this session I presented the workflow to do that. You can add subcontractors to schedule tasks and you can achieve this using task properties or using Bexel Manager API scripts to automate this process. And as you know, we're constantly improving our platform, so in the future you can expect more useful features. Could Bexel Manager be used for claims and delay analysis? Well, uh, yes, since Bexel Manager has ability to work in multi-schedule and multi-project environment, you can actually have original schedule and schedule saved for each month during construction. And comparing to other platforms, Bexel Manager records executed works for each period and not just the final situation. So I believe this was everything from your questions. Uh, feel free to contact our support for Bexel Manager questions. And thank you all again. Don't forget to register for next week's webinar and follow us on YouTube and LinkedIn. Have a nice day.